Before we begin reading Perki Avot, we start first with a, uh, a Mishnah that, that's as a Hagdama. And in that Mishnah, we, we say like this, Kol Yisrael yesh lahem chelek la'olam haba. Every Jewish person has a portion in the world to come. Now, many of the commentators point out a problem with this statement. And if we read it, we'll have to appreciate the Hebrew. So I'm going to explain it in Hebrew, and then we'll see what the big problem is. Uh, let me ask, first of all, I'm sure people, some of you guys here know, you know, know how to speak Hebrew. How would you have written this Mishnah? That if you want to say in Hebrew, every person or all Israel has a portion in the world to come, how would you write it? So here it's written that Kol Yisrael Eshechem Chelek La Olam Haba, that all Israel has a portion with a Lamed, La Olam Haba. But happens to be the correct way to say it is that it really would be to say Ba Olam Haba, with a Bet. Bet means in. And Lamed means really either four or two. So it's, it's, it's not correct the way the mission is written. And that's what many, many commentators point out. That if the mission really wanted to tell us that we have a portion in the world to come, it should have said, Ba Olam Haba. So why does it write La Olam Haba? So if you look at all of the, the Rishonim, they all explain the mission to mean that we all have a portion in the world to come. But that means that it should have been a bet, not a Lamed. So what, what, what's the Lamed doing here? So I would like to answer this question using the letter Lamed itself. The letter Lamed, if we know Lashon HaKodesh, so the Lamed is really that one letter, in order to write that letter, we, we write it as it sounds. And when we do that, that also becomes the name of the letter. So Lamed is written with a Lamed, and then Mem and Dalet. And it's Lamed. And the name of the letter is, is really defined by these three letters. So the real name of the letter Lamed and the essence of the letter Lamed really is Lamed, Lamed, which really means to learn or to teach. So that's what the letter Lamed really represents. And here, in this Mishnah, we could say that the rabbis purposely changed the Bet, which would really mean in, in the simplest of senses, and wrote Lamed, because they wanted to teach us an additional message, an added hidden message in this Mishnah, which we need to know. And so let's analyze. We, we said that, that all Jews have a portion in the world to come. That's great news, you know. But uh, the question is, how do we get there? How do we make sure we all get that portion of ours that's waiting for us in the world to come? What do I mean? So unfortunately, this world is a very confusing, very, very distracting world. You know, we come into this world and we're not really given our instructions and our blueprint when we're born. We're born, we just give me candy, give me food, give me attention, give me whatever I can get my hands on. And unfortunately, a lot of times, as a child, you just grow up to being a bigger child. You know, go look, there's a bunch of children out there. Some of them are in Wall Street, some of them are in Hollywood, some of them are actually, they're still playing basketball or baseball or football, but they're a lot of children because they're not... They didn't grow up and, and take on the role of what God really created man to be and do in the world. They're doing different toys and different games. It's just there's, The older you are, the more fancier your toys get and the more complex your game gets. So that's the problem with this world, that we can come into this world and we can get lost. We can completely forget about our purpose and find ourselves like on the opposite side of the world where we're, from where we're supposed to be. Let me, let me give you an example. If a, imagine you have, you're a truck driver, and your job is to deliver a, a certain package to an address. And you have the directions, and you're off, and you're driving, and you get on Highway 19, and you're driving down Highway 19, and you, you have on your directions that you have to get off at exit 120, 121, whatever. And you're driving down the highway, and you, know, you get all the way to this exit, which is very far, you're driving already, uh, a day or two on this highway and you come to exit 120 and you get off and then you look to make your turn where it says and the street's not there. So what, what do you do? You're lost. So you call up and figure out what's going on. I, I, I'm lost. I follow the directions and I'm not, I can't find the street. So then you find out, unfortunately, a few days too late that it wasn't exit 120, it was exit 20. So you went 100 exits too far without realizing it. You're, you're gone. You're way off the map. Now, had you have called in earlier to check your directions, then you might have been able to save the situation. But now, the, the package is, 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 is done. Whatever they needed that package for, it's today, yesterday, it's done. And you're, you're too late to fix the problem. And that's what happens when a person comes into this world. He comes into this world with 120 years to live. 
And he's got to get somewhere. He's got to go. He's got a purpose. And he goes through his life, and he doesn't even realize he's lost. He thinks he's on track because someone convinced him that the purpose of life is to amass a fortune or to get attention. Or who knows what he was taught that the purpose of life is. And at the end of his life, when he's shown in, in, from heaven the, the truth, he says, oh my gosh, what did I do? How can I fix it? Well, it's a bit late. And that's, that's essentially what this Lamed is doing here. Because the word Lamed, as we said, is coming here, and it means to teach us something, to learn something. So what's this lesson of the Lamed? So the Lamed itself, we said the Lamed itself is an indicator. When I say that I'm going somewhere, I'm, I'm trying to reach a certain place, I say, Ani olech la'ir. I'm going to the city. Ani olech la'ir Hashem. I'm going to the city of Hashem. The Lamed tells me where you're going. Tells you where you're going. So they t- the, the rabbis very, very beautifully put over here like this. You need to reach the world to come. That's the end goal. What we come into this world for is to reach the world to come by fulfilling our true purpose. But since you might forget that, there's a Yetzirah, people forget, there's temptation. So they said, we're going to put an indicator for you. You're, you need to get to the world to come. And how do you make sure you don't get lost? And how do you make sure you get there? Lam it. Because you have to remember, every day that you wake up, you have to check in to make sure you're on course. Where am I going? What am I here to do? I am on course to reach the world to come. The promised world, the world of reward for doing what God said to in this world. And if we tell ourselves every day that we are coming into the day where we're waking up, why? To reach this goal, then we can't get lost. When you know your goal and you remind yourself constantly of that goal, you, you protect it from getting lost. With this we can appreciate, interestingly, you know, we get up every morning, what's the first thing we do? We recognize God's existence by saying, And then we actually go through a long process of praying, which really plugs us in properly, and a person's really also supposed to learn a little bit before he gets into the rat race of trying to make a buck. By reconnecting with Hashem every morning, that itself is the idea of La'ulam Abba. It's to remind you what you're here for. What's your, what's your goal? What's the direct, what's the correct course of, uh, to follow? And that's, that's, that's the lesson here. So just to recap, the rabbis said, we want to teach you about this beautiful world to come that you're going to reach one day. But we're afraid you might get lost. So we'll, we'll remind you here that you have a portion, la olam haba. You have to remember what direction you're going and not get lost. Okay, now with this explanation on the mission, we can appreciate one of the lessons that Rabbi Nachman teaches in his Sefer Lekutim Moran, it's one of the Hasidic Sefers, one of the Hasidic, very well known. So he explains there, based on a Zohar, he says that really when a person wakes up in the morning, he has to attach his mind to the world to come. That's the first thing that he should do each morning, is to attach his thought and his mind to the world to come. Because since that is our purpose, by attaching to the purpose, to the goal, to the end result, you're plugged in properly and you're on the right track. And so this is essentially his, what he says there, and it matches with this explanation of our mission here.